Mums, welcome to episode three. Today I want to chat a bit about the assistance that is available, either if you have a business and you're cash strapped, or as an individual, if you're finding yourself with less income, a reduced income, or possibly no income. So firstly, for a business, from a business perspective, small business perspective, there are a number of funds that have been established, both by government and by private individuals. And these are in essence loans that are being made to small businesses that will help tide them over. You know, just because a business is not operating doesn't mean that they don't have expenses. So they may very well have rent that needs to be paid, supplies that need to be paid, and of course salaries, which is the big one, because a business not generating income, not paying salaries has a ripple effect throughout society and throughout the economy. So there are a number of these funds available. Um, go and Google and, and just Google, you know, relief, small business relief, debt relief, and you should find the information. Also, every day new funds are coming on board. Um, you know, institutions are coming to the fore to assist small businesses. So please go and find out what is available. Um, then in terms of banks, a lot of the banks have also come to the fore to offer debt relief packages or, or financial relief packages over this time. And there, most of them have set up COVID-19 websites, specifically on the bank website. So go and have a look and see what your bank is offering in terms of support and where they can actually assist you to get through this. When it comes to individuals who might have a compromised income, uh, UIF has set up a temporary income benefit within the UIF structure. And that is specifically to assist employers to be able to pay some kind of income to their employees. It's obviously not full salary, um, but it's, a, it's on a sliding scale between 38 and 70%. And that needs to be applied on your behalf um, through your employer to UIF. So please inquire about that. Also within the UIF structure, if you are having to be quarantined uh, due to the virus for two weeks, there is an illness benefit that is also covered or is part of the UIF benefits that are offered. And then of course, if you're on short pay, um, you know, maybe you're earning less, you're not earning no money, but you're on short pay from your employer, there is also a UIF benefit that can cover that. So go and see what is available and speak to your employer in terms of tapping in, particularly to the temporary income relief fund. And then of course, lastly, people who are self-employed, um, might also find themselves in the position where suddenly there is no income. Hopefully they had some kind of income replacement policy or if people are being retrenched that they had a retrenchment benefit. You know, one often doesn't think about these things at the time, um, but when you need it like now, is really, you know, you're very grateful that you've had it. But really the bottom line is go and see what resources are available if you have a reduced income, if you've got a cash flow problem, find out from your banks what is available, see what can be done through UIF and take ownership and make sure that you can get through this period financially. Thank you, ladies. Till next time. If your child is not growing well, she may not be eating well and can become sickly. That's why Pediasure has 26 key nutrients to help support height, weight and immunity. Start to see visible growth in eight weeks. Pediasure, for growth you can be sure of.